with breaking news. And we have some breaking news out of Lowndes County. Less than 24 hours after a fatal Columbus shooting, a West Point man has been charged with manslaughter for that crime. 18 year old Shaquavis White of West Point was charged yesterday for the crime. The Lowndes County coroner had recently identified the victim of the shooting. WTVA's Nicole Dantzler spent this afternoon speaking with folks from the neighborhood. She is joining us live with what they're saying. That's right. And even after this arrest, the police chief Fred Shelton said that more arrests could be made. And as investigators continue to talk to persons of interest in this case, people who knew 18 year old Xavier Dora say that his death hits just a little bit too close to home. It hurt me. It hurt me to my heart. He called me yesterday and I didn't answer the phone. Just imagine I wouldn't answer the phone. We would have been in the gym working out, getting ready for basketball. Some of Xavier Dora's closest friends, who even considered him a little brother, told me hearing the news of his death gave them a heavy heart. He was a good dude, man. I always kept a smile on his face. You know what I'm saying? Good to be around. Columbus Police Chief Fred Shelton said officers responded to a shooting Thursday afternoon. He said someone shot two people at an abandoned house near the intersection of 17th Street and 5th Avenue South. Shelton said the people in the abandoned home had an argument which led to the shooting. I just feel like the gun violence need to stop. Back in our day, we didn't use guns, we used our hands. Lowndes County Coroner Greg Merchant confirmed that 18 year old Xavier Dora was the one who died. It just hurt me the most to see that he had to go out like that. I don't want no black man to have to go out. With a gunshot. Xavier Dora's friends say not only does this affect them, but it affects the entire community. They just want gun violence to stop. The things we need to do is get some stuff going on in the community for these kids to get out of these streets. Like as a young black male, either get a job, get a trade, go to school, do something safe. Right. Other than they'll be running these streets. And police chief Fred Shelton says at least five people were in the abandoned house at the time of the shooting. And he says he believes that they were doing illegal activity. But right now, investigators are still continuing to talk to several persons of interest in this case. For now, live in Columbus, Nicole Dantzler, WTVA 9 News.